Hey guys, it's the Cube Dude here, and today I have an unboxing from the Cubicle.us. All right, so here we have the Lefun 2x2 time machine. We have a cube stand. We have stickers for the Gicker uh, Smart Cube and two cube bags that are currently out. I'm gonna put the cube bags aside for now, and I'll be going over the 2x2 time machine and comparing it with the Smaz time machine. All right, so here with me on the right, I have the Smaz time machine, and here in front of me, the stickerless one, is the Lefun 2x2 time machine. Now, as you can see, these things are pretty much the exact same. However, the Lefun does not come with the stickers that these come with. The biggest thing that distinguishes these two is the price difference. The Lefun is $13.99, and the Smaz time machine is $94.99. So that is an $81 difference, and today I'll be comparing both of them and seeing if the Smaz time machine is worth it, or if you should just go ahead and get the cheaper version and get the Lefun one. So I've had the Smaz time machine for a little bit and I love this puzzle. I've uh, figured out my own way to solve it and the dials turn very well and it turns very smoothly once everything is aligned. And if you line up both, you could do a T-perm pretty well. Let's go ahead and do first turns on the Lefun time machine. All right, so the turning on this one wasn't that bad. It's a little bit rattly, as you can tell, uh, probably because the pieces are a little bit too loose. Uh, and I wish it did have the numbered stickers, but I guess you could just draw on the numbers if you really wanted. Uh, it does add another level of difficulty to this puzzle. I'm going to go ahead and scramble this in a minute. Uh, I did just look up on Oliver stickers, and there are stickers for this. Uh, these are pretty similar in size. The left one's a little bit bigger, so stickers on this one will probably still fit on the left one. However, on Oliver stickers, they are... Uh, Roman numerals rather than numbered ones. So if you want to go ahead and just like write them on in Sharpie or whatever permanent marker you have, that'll probably do. Uh, maybe put something over it so it doesn't smudge off as you turn and fiddle with it a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick scramble. go ahead and stack them out the salt and then I'm going to solve this one but I'm going to completely ignore the numbers. All right, so there's that solve. Four minutes, 13.204 seconds. Now let's go ahead and do the exact same thing on this mass time machine. All right, so there was that, four minutes, 4.208 seconds, so pretty similar times. Now let's go over the turning during those solves. All right, so turning on both of them was a little bit locky. Uh, it was actually a little bit harder to turn this one. However, this one felt a little bit more put together, whereas on the left one one, I felt like some pieces were going to pop. And after looking at some reviews on the Cubicles website, a uh, few people did say that these dial pieces pop out. I have yet to notice that, but it is loose enough to the point where I could, see, I could sort of understand that that might be an issue. All right, so I actually just off camera, just had this thing pop on me. I was just doing this a bunch of times and then it caught and then one of the, or a few of the dials just popped out. 
And I found the easiest way to put in the last dial is to just simply take a screwdriver, put it in there, and then it sort of opens this up, and then you could have a little bit more space to put one of these things back in. It wasn't that hard to put them back in. However, some dials did pop on this, and I've had this thing for about a year now, done a couple solves on it, and I've had no issues with the Smaz time machine. However, this is a puzzle that you're not gonna be solving all the time. This is just gonna be a every once in a while type puzzle. So my recommendation would be to get the left one, Smaz, or the left one two by two time machine and order stickers or write down the numbers from all of her stickers or just use a Sharpie and put some scotch tape over it or just leave it as is. The colors are very, very nice. It's a bright blue, bright orange, green, yellow, white, and a normal red. Whereas on this, it's more standard colors and the stickers on at least the two by two section and around here are uh, kind of just the borders. And don't know, I don't, I don't think this looks as nice as this. However, if you are a collector, I'd recommend going with the Smaz Time Machine as it's kind of the original one and this one's more of a knockoff. But once again, $13.99 on the cubicle.us and this one is $94.99. I'll have links to both of these down in the description. You can use coupon code to CubeDude for 5% off on all orders on the cubicle.us. Thank you very much to the cubicle.us for sending me this one to compare the two. I hope you all enjoyed this quick comparison. I hope this video was very helpful. Because I know a lot of people don't buy the Smaz Time Machine simply because it's $95, but now we have another option for $14. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified of all my future videos. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.